Hey, what's going on? It's Efren the Marketer here with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about the top marketing strategies for retail locations. All right, so super exciting news. If you guys watched my previous videos where we walked Goal Level Print, we're actually opening up ourselves a retail location, but this isn't our first time opening up a retail location. Yes, for this industry, it is our first time, but we help many of our clients and customers open up their retail locations. And plus we know marketing, so you know, here's our top tips on making your retail location successful. One of the first tips I want to go over is Google My Business. If your business isn't located located on Google My Business, and I'm not saying, hey, you Google your business, which you should, but if your business doesn't pop up on Google Maps, then you're probably losing out on hundreds and thousands of dollars. As well, uh, Yelp is actually integrated with the maps from the iPhone, so make sure you have your listing on Yelp itself. Google My Business is a very powerful tool where you can list your business, put your uh, hours of operation, list your website, phone number, and all that good details. As as well, you can integrate Google My Business with your Google PPC campaigns, which is Google AdWords. And once you sign up for Google My Business, they actually give you $100 for free to list your business on their platform. What that does is when someone types in your business or they're driving by the area and they type in sushi near me or sushi, right? What happens is that Google My Business pops up and there's multiple businesses the directory shows. And the more reviews, the more people that Google your business or click on your business, the more it'll pop up on the algorithm. Uh, Google My Business does work by a geofence, which helps your business be located. All right, the next tip is, if you ever heard of EDDM, which is Every Direct Door Mail and Direct Mail. So those are two complete different services that USPS offers. Uh, EDDM, you can market a zip code and send them mail, like a grand opening letter that says, hey, come by on this day or come by this month and come check out our specials or sales, or hey, don't drive miles away for the next haircut place because now you have Juan's Barbershop down the street, right? So you definitely want to utilize that. For direct mail or uh, EDDM, you want to send out multiple campaigns. You just don't want to send out one campaign in the area, you want to do three. So just in case they don't see the first one or they see the first one, they get reminded by the second one and then the third one. So make sure you have a good strategy behind every single mailer you send out. The next thing you want to do is make sure you thumbs up this video because it definitely helps me out, helps the algorithm out and my video guy here is telling me to say thumbs up the video, please. Hey James, I'm going. My third favorite marketing source for retail locations is Facebook, Instagram, or any third party geofencing program or geofencing marketing where you pretty much pinpoint where your business is at and you say, hey, I wanna go two mile radius around my business for anybody that's interested in, and then you can put the, the keywords in there like uh, if you're a barber shop, if you're a pizza shop, or any type of industry you're currently trying to open as a retail location, you literally put pick certain keywords and what you do is you put a couple of miles away. What happens if someone drives by, your advertisement pops up on their feed. You don't wanna go too crazy far out on the mileage on how many people can see it. The less people you can see, more repetitive is better uh, for marketing than going wider spread and only seen, uh, get seen once or twice on their feed. You wanna be consistently on their feed and consistently in their face, letting them know that, hey, my shop is now open and come check me out. Hey, my video guy said that you didn't thumbs up. What the hell's going on? I'm waiting. Are we good? No? Okay, you thumbs up. We're good to go. The next tip is really important and it's actually really cheap. If for some reason you don't have really big budgets because you spend a lot of money on opening up your retail location, trust me, we have a little bit of money and it's putting a nice dent in our pocket. Just by putting up the monument sign, it is in the $3,000 range. And I'm talking about a sign that's not that big. And we shopped it around, it's pretty expensive. So. If you have the budget to put a monument sign or if your office or retail location has a monument sign and you have the option to put your business on the monument, I strongly suggest it because it's kind of like a billboard that's just always there, right? Uh, billboards are super expensive, but if you have a monument sign and you're able to pay for your signage to go up on this sign, I strongly suggest it, but it does cost you money. My favorite marketing source for retail location, there's nothing like it, 
because it's really cheap and effective is door knocking. We actually had our salespeople go around the neighborhood and start door knocking, letting everybody know, hey, I know you probably do your printing through Kinko's or Alpha Graphics. We just wanna let you know we're here in your neighborhood and we can take care of you in just a couple of minutes. You can even walk here and kind of just have them introduce themselves. So door knocking is one of my favorites, but it does require a lot of man work. So if your salespeople or yourself is really busy, you can't really go and door knock or have that marketing automated unless you hire more people. But then at that case, you should definitely dump more money into the other top marketing sources. So hopefully these tips helped you guys. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, I drop new videos every single Thursday here on my channel. And if you need help marketing your business, don't forget to contact us. We do it all, baby. Check in the bio down below. We got you covered.